I don't recall buying a single one of these, but somehow I have three of them. So today we're going to test them out and see how they work uh, instead of just a regular test trip. So this is the projection print scale. Uh, Kodak used to make these. Now you can get them from Delta. B&H sells them uh, from the Delta One brand. And they're just these thin pieces of film. They're about four by five inches, maybe a little bit bigger. And it's got a wheel of neutral density with numbers on them. So you would lay this on top of the piece of paper, make your test print for one full minute, so set your aperture to whatever, expose the piece of paper for one full minute, and then you look at the corresponding patch. And if the patch that says 12 seconds looks best, then theoretically your print at 12 seconds would be the best print time. Now, does this work better than a test strip? Uh, I mean, that's a matter of your workflow, but we're gonna try it out and see if it works the way that it says that it does. Uh, so I've got a negative setup we're going to uh, make an 11 by 14 print on Ilford fiber paper from an eight by 10 negative. Uh, this is a print from a series I did a few years ago where I was looking at how information storage devices become obsolete and therefore your information and knowledge are lost because you can't gain access. So I was making little machines to kind of look at like what uh, somebody might do to try to recover that information using modern stuff. So just a playful little series of still lives. I enjoy it. It did really well in galleries and whatnot. So we're gonna make a print. Uh, so let's try this out and see how it does. Here's our test strip. This is the bottom portion of the print. And looking at these areas, of course I've got two second exposure, 48 seconds going all the way around. Um, I'm liking eight. That looks about right to me. But look at this a little closer, eight seconds. So we're gonna go with that and do a test print at that exposure. Okay, so here is our eight second test print. Everything looks pretty good here. So the projection scale did work. We're gonna go ahead and make the full print at this point, but uh, I'm very pleased so far. Let's go ahead and make the print.
can see, we've got our final print, nice and dry, and it turned out pretty good. Eight seconds, exactly like the uh, projection scale said, and we're ready to go. This print's ready to be flattened, mounted, framed, whatever we need. So, well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you found one of these in a box of stuff, now you know what to do with it. I do recommend you at least try it. It may work better for your workflow than a standard test strip. If not, well, pass it on. Somebody out there, I'm sure, is looking for it. If you've been thinking about getting one and you wanted to know how they worked and if they worked, yes, they do. Here's how. We'll see you next time.